Okay. I like to go swimming. Uh, my favorite snack is apricots. Uh, I always forget to mail my dad a birthday card. Oh, okay, those are those are good ones. Um, what's the lie? What's the lie? Swimming, swimming. You don't really like swimming. Actually, I do. Like oh, the lie no. was the birthday card. I'm I'm pretty great about remembering birthdays. Okay, go. Okay, okay, wow. Okay, it's uh, that's impressive. Okay, my turn, my turn. I have hair. I wear glasses. I'm immune to gravity. Okay, that's a tough one. Uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna have to go with the gravity thing. Oh! Yes, how'd you know? I, I don't know. All right, all right, here you go. Here, here you go, okay. I hate pepper jelly. I used to be afraid of chipmunks. I own 42 copies of the book, The Hobbit. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I know this one. I know it's The Hobbit. That's because you only own 39 copies of The Hobbit. Do you count my books? I am the son of an astronaut. I eat chocolate pudding at 3 a.m. And I have 12 toes. Okay. <laughs> The game is two truths and a lie, John, not three lies. Neither of your parents is an astronaut. You wouldn't eat chocolate pudding at three every morning because you always need help opening your pudding cups. And as far as the 12 toes, I think I would have known. You don't know how many toes I have? You don't know. I mean, I'm pretty, no, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. I'm gonna show him. No, 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 no. everyone, I'm Brandon. <laughs> and I'm John, and welcome to the Sue and Sue Shoe. <laughs> You're so funny, he's so funny. The so and so show, John. <laughs> but he's right, welcome to our most devoted, loyal, happy audience who always warms our hearts, gives us purpose, and makes us feel so cheerful. Wow, you are in a good mood today. I'm always in a good mood, John. Really? <laughs> I'm the peppiest person I know. Oh, you must not know a lot of people. What was that? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now. Any minute now what? Oh, I'm, I'm interviewing later today to be a member of a very prestigious society. Oh. The interviewer should be here. Any minute now. What's the society? Oh, the Society of Sincerely Perpetually Peppy People. <laughs> Oh, you're being sincere. Yeah, of course I'm being sincere. I'm a sincerely, perpetually peppy person. You? I am! Okay. Okay, maybe I'm not always peppy, but anyone who's anyone is a member of the SOS PPP, and I prefer being a perpetually peppy person who's popular, plus it looks really good on a resume. So if you'll just make me look good in front of the interviewer, I would really appreciate it. Do you think you can do that for me, best friend in the whole world? Um, sure. All right. Hello, peppy people! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Samantha, and I'm the senior assistant selector for the Society of Sincerely Perpetually Peppy People. Well, welcome, welcome. Oh, you must be Brandon. Oh, what? No, no, I'm John. Uh, this is Brandon. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I am, I'm the Brandon that you, the person you wanted to see when you, when you, well, I'm, I'm the, he, he's me. <laughs> it is a pleasure, Brandon. I am sitting. No, what no. Oh, oh, hey, hey, sit down. Oh. I mean, would you, uh, here, have a, have a seat. Here. Oh, okay. There oh, you go. Oh, okay. on, the, on the chair that there's, <laughs> Thank I was putting Thank out you. for you. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. So, how are you doing today, Brandon? Splendidly. I'm so good because of, you know, all of the... The, the, the birds and the sunshine and the happy, happy thoughts. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, so happy this morning, I barely recognized him. Oh, John. I, I mean, I mean he, you know, I looked at him and I said, whoa, who, who is this? Please stop helping me. I, I really like your club. Yeah. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. We at the Society of Sincerely Perpetually Peppy People pride ourselves on our constant cheerfulness, happiness, peppiness, merriment, glee, and bliss. 
Don't those all mean the same thing? Let's get to the interview, shall we? Oh, I love interviews. Actually, it's more of a game. Oh, I love games. <laughs> yeah, me too. Can I play too? Of course, awesome. of course. So I'll hold up a photo, and you say the first thing that pops in your head. Oh, I love saying the first thing that pops into my head. I do it all the time. Uh, uh, door. <laughs> uh, lamp. Uh, uh, giant pencil. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so photo number one. Uh, Brandon, you go first. Uh, okay, uh, sleep. No, I only say that because sleep is what I want to do when I watch soccer. I mean, it's not a negative thing. Sleep is important for your health. <laughs> okay, um, try to keep your answers to one or two words, okay? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. right. Um, John? Uh, fun. Okay. Numero... Dos. Uh, uh, brain freeze. Yummy. Mm. Three. Uh, oh, loud. Uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Ants. Oh, watermelon. Um. Uh, oh, oh, expensive. Party. Um, excuse me. Uh, Brandon, are you okay? Of course. Why? Well, it, it just seems your answers don't seem particularly perpetually peppy. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I think I'm just nervous. I mean, you're the senior assistant selector. If I'd have known they were bringing the SAS of the SOS PPP here, I'd have been more personally prepared to be perpetually peppy. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Yeah. But just so you know, the society of sincerely perpetually peppy people isn't for everyone. Some people are only peppy periodically, and that's okay. It is? Certainly! You know, some people only want to join the society because they think it'll make them popular. What? I know, I know, but what really matters is staying true to who you are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's get on with the game, shall we? Oh. All right, I just have one more picture. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's Bible story time with Galen. Hey guys. Hey Galen. Hey Galen. I am very excited for our story today. So let's jump right in. Take it away. Okay. Over 2000 years ago, around 600 BC, there was a kingdom called Babylon, with a king named Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar was not exactly a good guy. In fact, he was pretty evil. King Nebuchadnezzar, you know what, that's a really long name, so I'm just going to call him King Nebi. King Nebi and his army surrounded and attacked the city of Jerusalem, and he stole from the temple of God. Then, King Nebi gave the order to take some of the Israelites hostage so they could be his personal servants. He wanted only the smartest, strongest, and healthiest to be brought to Babylon as captives to learn his ways and serve him at his palace. One of the men captured was named Daniel. Daniel wasn't exactly a superhero. He was just a person like you and me, but he was put to a big test. As part of their training, the men who were captured were ordered to eat food from the king's table. This food was different than the food they normally ate to honor God. And Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, believed the king's food would make them unclean. So Daniel asked an official for permission to eat something else. But the official was afraid that if Daniel and his friends didn't eat the king's food, they would become weak and unhealthy. But Daniel was determined to stay true to who he was and to honor God no matter what. So he convinced a guard to give him and his friends only vegetables and water for 10 days. And after the 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked stronger and healthier than everyone. After that, Daniel and his friends were allowed to eat the food they wanted. 
God gave these four men knowledge and understanding. They became some of the wisest men in the kingdom. It may not have been the best circumstance. Daniel and his friends had lost their homes. They'd lost their freedom. But with God's help, they kept their honesty and their integrity, and they stayed true to who God made them to be. The end. What a cool story. Yeah, even with all that pressure to be like everyone else, Daniel chose to be himself. You find a lot of that in the Bible. Look at Jesus. It would have been really easy for Jesus to go along with the crowd. But instead, he only lived the way he knew was true, even if it meant giving his life up for you and me. Incredible. Thanks, Kellen. Hey, see you next time, Kellen. No problem, fellas. Bye. Bye. John, you were right. Whoa. You think I was right about something? <laughs> oh, do, do go on. No, it's about the society of sincerely, perpetually peppy people. That's not me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, no, it's not, and I'm okay with that. I mean, it's great to be happy and peppy, but it's also good to have other emotions too. And I'd rather be myself than try to fit into some club. That's awesome. Brandon, I am very proud of you. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm. I'm practically perpetually proud. Okay. I am positively pleased. Okay, stop. <laughs> Reveal the question. How do you want people to describe you? That's interesting. How do I want people to describe me? What do I want to be known for? I, I, I want to be known as the life of the party, the guy who can you know, stick out his tongue and touch his nose. And I want people to describe me as someone who's sometimes peppy, sometimes not, and that's okay. <laughs> what about you? How do you? How do you want people to describe you? Hey, look! I did it. I stuck out my tongue and I touched my nose. Yeah, that's very, very that talented. Good? We'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Yeah, bye. Please place the pleated pressed pants on the plain pressing plane. A pack of pesky pixies. A pack of pesky pixies. Frothy fructose. Frontogenesis. <laughs> that, was, that was fructose. September. Mom makes mash m m marmalade. Gum gets gooey. Gum gets gumptious. Gooey gumptious gum is gargantuanly gooey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>